In this video, we will compare Airtable and FileMaker. If you guys want to get started with either Airtable or FileMaker, you can use the links given down in the description. When comparing Airtable and FileMaker, both platforms offer tools for building custom applications and managing data, but they cater to different types of users and project needs. Airtable is a cloud-based platform that blends the features of a spreadsheet with the functionality of a database. It's designed for users who want a simple, intuitive way to organize and collaborate on data. Airtable offers pre-built templates, automation tools, and integrations with popular apps like Slack, Google Drive, and more. Its user-friendly interface makes it ideal for teams managing projects, content, or workflows with minimal technical knowledge. Airtable offers several pricing plans, including a free plan, a team plan at $20 per month, a business plan at $45 per month, and an enterprise plan for larger organizations. FileMaker, on the other hand, is a more powerful platform that allows for custom app development with both low-code and traditional coding options. It offers more extensive customization and flexibility than Airtable, making it suitable for businesses that need highly tailored solutions. FileMaker supports mobile, web, and desktop applications that integrates with various databases, providing greater control over app functionality and deployment. FileMaker offers different plans, starting with an essentials plan at $21 and a standard plan at $43. In my opinion, Airtable is best for teams or individuals looking for a simple, collaborative tool to manage data and workflows, while FileMaker is ideal for businesses needing more robust, customizable app development capabilities. Your choice depends on whether you prioritize ease of use or advanced customization. So that's comparison between Airtable and FileMaker. Make sure to use the links given down in the description to get started with either Airtable or FileMaker. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.